Back in the day, we had like, you know, um, the D3 came out, which changed the game. There's like the cost in ones, SLB 23s. Mm -hmm. Like this is kind of the last shoe I could really think of that really kind of is a staple now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like as a newer yeah, shoe, it's like new yeah. shoe came, I mean, Yeezys are like some like. I mean, Kanye yeah. Shoe. But, but yeah, like, and skateboarding. Skateboarding. This is kind of like the go to almost. Yeah, right. He's had it almost sure. 10 years, 11 years. 11. So crazy. crazy. Yeah. Been holding on for a minute. So look at that. Fly leather, 50% recycled leather. It's amazing, man. Engineered leather made by binding at least 50% recycled leather fibers together with synthetic fibers in an innovative process, man. Low carbon footprint, you know what I'm saying? Traditional leather manufacturing. But I think that not only having his shoe here is great. I think we should get him on the get him on the horn here. Let's yeah. FaceTime Stefan yeah. and let Stefan break down. What? His a great idea. Him on great here. Idea. It's a great idea. A great idea. I hope, <laughs> I hope he's Just, ready because he has no idea. <laughs> he has no clue. Oh, we're about okay. to call him. You got his number? Damn, I got his number. Cold calling Stefan. <laughs> yeah, we're going to cold call he's him. Gonna no, he's yeah. just going to be ready. He's just going to be ready. Yeah. Yeah. I hope so. Let's see if we can get him on the line here, man. Oh, wait. That's not the right one. Okay. <laughs> oh, there he is. Hey. hey! What's up, dude? What up? What's up? <laughs> dude. Hey, guys. Stefan Janowski, man. That wall's yes. looking immaculate, player. Thanks. Is that, <laughs> is that fake? It's wallpaper. It's wallpaper. <laughs> it's the new Nike wallpaper. It's looking great. Yeah, a couple of my favorite shoes. I, I like it. <laughs> well, what's, the, what's the odd man out there? What's the red box? Oh, that's golf. Golf. Oh, hey. Okay. He had a we golf. Like so that's the only uh, non SB box. Okay. It's amazing. Um, hey, can I ask a question real quick? What's the proper way to say your name? Your last name? It's Janowski. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I think okay. everybody says Janowski. Janowski. Yeah. Like there's a W yeah. in there I think somewhere. That's, that's yeah. actually the shoe's name, I guess. Oh. It's no, like the, no, but, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Everyone does tend to throw a W in there. Um, it kind of, you know, people have kind of always threw letters into my name because if you, <laughs> you're just reading it, it's kind of hard to know. You know, it's the Stefan is spelled like a Stefan, and the Janoski is just full of letters that Americans don't aren't used to. And, <laughs> people are throwing PHs in there. They're throwing WS in there. Types, K, extra Ks, and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> well, hey, first of all, thank you so much for uh, taking the time, Stefan, and uh, you know, you hanging out with us. And you know, we're we're doing the the the. The raffle today, we're raffling off uh, three pairs of your shoes. We're so psyched on that. That's but uh, nice. this oh. Nike fly leather, let's talk about this, yeah. dude. Let's talk about it. <laughs> um, I mean, I think for a long time, people have wanted uh, sustainable, you know, footwear and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Especially for skateboarding, right? Because yeah. shoes aren't uh, a long term, uh, you know, product in skateboarding. It's like, that's what we mess up. It's like, until, uh, I don't know, someone invents something other than grip tape. Uh, right. Shoes yeah. Yeah. right. Um, like what? Mark Gonzalez invented the spray in 4 one a long time ago, right? Sure. Well, Kelly yeah. would know that, right? Uh, that was, the early 4 ones aren't my thing. Like the early, <laughs> early ones, not okay. my thing. Okay. Yeah, Stefan, no. you tell this dude any <laughs> 4 one number and he'll tell you who the profile was and what song it was. <laughs> it's insane. I, would, I remember you had a really good, like, Opening or there was the AM issue, issue 50, I believe, and you have some sick footage okay. in there. You're 50. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I scared you, but uh, <laughs> where no, you uh, actually, you know, what's funny is the first so the first two skate videos I ever watched at this on the same day was virtual reality and 411 number one. Oh, wow. Wow. One, one number one, those are great number videos. one, and um, the first time I was in a form one was issue 38, I believe. 38. Mm. Oh, was it a chaos? Or were you in like the, the chaos section? I was in like a chaos so or something good. like that. Hey, <laughs> you just keep blowing my mind, Oh, bro. man. I grew up watching this dude religiously, man. He's one of my favorites. Well, we all yeah. have. Yeah. But yeah. You're, you're just yeah. kind of a, yeah. like a scary. The, di the dial in. Like, I got yeah, it. Man. Like, we're, we're fans, but you're like the scary fan. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, whoa, dude. Like, you know what? I think, it was, I think it might have been. When I went to Barcelona with Pete Thompson and Ricky the Dude. Yeah. You had footage at Mokba, right? You switch crook through yeah. the thing. You switch crook through the, the yeah. keyhole. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Line and like at Mothba, which is kind of funny. I did a front side tail slide in a line there, which is like nolly back heel after, a, and then switch. Cruise. Such a simple trick for yeah, like yeah, yeah. now, you know. It's I like I don't it. know if you're allowed to just tail slide. <laughs> <laughs> you were skating in uh, Savier back then. The shoes, right? That's right. Yeah. Correct. Are you scared yet? So <laughs> are, you, are you scared yet? No. This is fuck, okay. I like this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but let's talk about it. Listen, first of all, let's talk about dude, this. how, how, lo- when, when did you get the first Stefan shoe? When did you, when did the shoe come out originally? Let's, um, the I, shoe I came even, out in 2009. Right. The first one I had was probably 2008, okay. uh, you know, first sample. Sure. I wear sample size, so I got to skate them for a year before they came out, which was great. Right. And, um, just kind of always, you know, I grew up in a, um, very like, healthy earth friendly like celebrating earth day and my mom was a vegetarian and and so i've always really wanted to do a uh, very earthy type of thing so even when, at the beginning when i started the shoe i wanted to do like recycled and sustainable and and do things like that but um you know it was brand new at the time you know no one really knew right. what was going on so it wasn't really like oh let's just do everything you want to do you know um, sure And now, you know, luckily, I mean, I mean, fortunately, yeah, now it's kind of like, all right, so now we can do, let's do that with this, um, because I'm really into like, like, I mean, I I would love to, I love, I would love to move away from like virgin suede and pig suede and the leathers that are just straight from the, you know, commodification of animals, which Mm. is just I think, you know, and it's like pig suede is like the best one for skating, but it's like, that's not a good enough reason to me. Right. You know what I mean? So like this to me is like a really good first step is like using the pieces of leather that would normally just be thrown away into a landfill because all the companies, you know, they, you don't use every piece of leather. They sure. chop it up and there's right. all this stuff on the floor. Sure. And so, yeah, this company in London, I mean, they, they take all of the scrap leather that would go into landfills and they grind it up into like a pulp. Mm-hmm. And then they take this crazy high pressure water guns and they shoot it into the pulp that infuses it back into a leather. Right. And then they have it on these like giant rolls, like like a roll of paper, but like a huge roll of this recycled leather. And then by having it on the roll, they it's easier to use for the shoes. And so they use, they don't, they have less waste of the recycled leather, you know, because there'd still be... So, so even so, they you're using more of the le- the recycled leather than they would normally use of the real leather because of the fact that it's already in this perfect roll, totally. where the real leather is actually a cow's back. Right. So it's it's not a it's not a, a square. It's like it's a, shaped like a cow that you've skinned and ripped its skin off. And geez, right. Yeah. Right. Like, it is kind of heavy to yeah. see like a stack up to your chest of cow skins you know you're like whoa okay totally and when you see that kind of stuff it really puts it in perspective you know that's the thing because we we, sometimes we live out of sight out of mind oh totally it makes it very real and it's like i'm like you know i'm trying you know i'm 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 vegan i don't eat meat you know Mm. and um i you know i try to not use plastic and use these eco-friendly clothes and all this stuff. But then I have this product that is just made from cow's backs, like <laughs> right, thousands man. of cow's backs every day. So it's kind of like, Oh yeah. Good job. Vegan. You know, like, right. I don't know. Sure. So yeah. So this, this project I was very excited about. And I think it's, it's also what I'm really excited about is it's, it works really well. It looks good. It's great for skating. Um, and also it's, a, it's, it's just the first step. They want to do more. And like for a big company like Nike to say, hey, we want to start to make a change, which is like, you know, they're a huge company, but like every little bit helps. And also it's like when they do something, other companies have to do it too, because yeah, right. you know what I mean? It's like, oh, Nike's doing sustainable, Nike's doing recycling. And so Adidas will probably want to do that too. And our other people, you know, so it's like, it, it's good. It's a good, it's, it's, you know, small steps, but every small thing is really important. Well, I think, I mean, it, listen, it's, it's 50% recycled leather. So, I mean, I think that's a great first step, you know? Oh yeah. Like, well, the whole thing is 50%. So the whole right. shoe is 50%. It's amazing. Like, Cause the wow. sole is crushed up rubber. Yeah. I could that's see recycled. that. And I think there's even some other, I think even like 
I don't know. I heard maybe even the stitching might have been recycled. I gotta look. Mm. Don't, don't quote me on okay. that. Okay, we'll we'll have to fact check that. <laughs> but uh, it, now, is this colorway that we're holding right now? It's like the grayish colorway. Is is this the is this the raw that comes out of so what they do? That is pretty much like the raw gotcha. leather. Gotcha. And also, what they did for this first one is it's flipped. So that's the backside of the left. Oh, okay. So that's why it's kind of got this texture to it. I like that texture. Oh, that's sick. And the texture is good because it's more dope. of like a suede than a smooth leather. Yeah, definitely. And for skating, it's actually, uh, it's really good because, you know, you hmm. grip and, you I do. know, and looking, the, doing all that stuff, you know what I mean? Hey, and speaking of skating, you know, we, we, we speaking of skating, speaking though, of skating. we all know that, you know, some shoes that, you know, the board slips and this and that, like, were you getting to shoot, like, uh, test these out? Um, oh, as, yeah, as they were yeah. working. Yeah. They, okay. Yeah. I got those a long time ago. Oh, wow. Uh, the first ones. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, and it, cause they were like, Hey, we want, we want to know if this is good for skating. So they, and I wear size nine, like I said, so I, it's very easy for them to just send me all samples. They don't have to like change any size. They just send them on over. Right. Thus the wallpaper. Uh, I remember behind actually you. for yeah. a while at Nike, I, I was like, Hey, can I get some shoes in a box? Cause I was just getting all sales. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, well, what do you need the box for? <laughs> the back <laughs> That's amazing. He's like, I need it for my background Zoom calls. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, no, it's amazing. And, and the more that I look into it, you know, that we we watch a video of it, the vi the videos out, and and just watching um, them explain the process is 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 insane. Yeah. It's cool. So Nike, I take it, is kind of starting off with your shoe and then they're, they're going to like move into other categories with this, right? Yeah, I think there might be some in other categories. Okay. Yeah, what right. I, I was going to say, because this, what you were talking about. But this about is with the, the first one for skateboard. For skateboarding. Yeah. Right? Gotcha. They were doing yeah. something with uh, the Space Hippie where they were doing a lot of the exactly. outside. Yes. It was. Yes. Yeah. yes. Mm. Okay. And so this is the first one for SB. Gotcha. Nice. And it's just kind of a step in, um, in I guess, in the Janoski uh, shoe of just moving towards, like, really just trying to do, like, not just have one model recycle, but moving towards the whole thing being, you know, sustainable shoes and sustainable, sustainable materials and recycled and, and just getting away from all the, just move, just, because I'm down. I'm like, listen, I'm down. Don't mm -hmm. give me any more pig suede. Let's do... Uh, you know, but it's going to be slow, you know, sure. it's like, like I said, I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't have a, um, a desk at Nike. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you have your own parking spot? No, I park in P Rod's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Perfect. I park in his spot too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Even when he's there, I park in his spot. <laughs> <laughs> Call the tow truck real quick, man. No, when he's there, I park in Jordan's spot. Jo um, what? <laughs> okay. I'd be a little scared to park in Jordan, but you know what, P Rod, it's he's fine. You know. Um. No, but it, it's it's incredible, man, and and to think that what'd you say, two thousand and uh, nine. nine, nine, to think that yep, so in yeah, two thousand was the ten year anniversary. To think ten years later, you'd still be running this same shoe, and yeah. it's so <laughs> goddamn iconic, and it's transcended skateboarding. It's I mean, it's yeah. out there, bro. Would it you did, ever in your did. wildest yeah. dreams, bro? Golf. I mean, come on, golf, it's golf, yeah. Dude, some of the Tony. I don't know if you follow golf at all, but like I know Tony Fanu. Dude, that dude rocks your shit so heavy. Like, and I'm like, dude, I always like, I tell my girl, like, I'm like, yo, look, that Stephon Shooter. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, my fr I've got some friends that are like, I've got a friend uh, who I grew up skating with. He's a golf pro, and so like, he's always letting me know, like, he's like Tony Fanu, he's killing it. Dude, he's and, gnarly, uh, and he's I, repping your. And shit. I like, I looked into him. He's a he's a great guy. Like, he seems like a great guy. Yeah, he's awesome. Um, so I was psyched because you know I was like. I, I didn't want to, because uh, I was like really psyched. I was like, I got to make sure he's cool too, because I can't be like, <laughs> like oh, yes, no, he's great. He seems cool. Uh, yeah. I love it. You he's, know, and I really was psyched on the golf because it's such a different. It's funny that I can just reach to it now that you pointed it. Right. Out. Right. Uh, That's right. Where it is. It's just such a. It's like I said. This is the only non SB box, so mm -hmm. it was it was a, a really different way to see the shoe because it was actually made by a different division. Mm. So they they didn't have to do any skateboarding stuff, and they just add, they just made it for golf and added 
some fancy leather stitching and some cushions and like the the um like Nike Cortez bottom. Yeah, you know, wow. the shit is I fire. Love I love it, dude. I love them. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I we, really we get psyched when we see another kid with like our our, our pro board. You know, yeah. let alone the, 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 yeah, these tough. guys wearing his shoes. Yeah. Like, I couldn't even imagine. And it's fun, too, because I can be in the like I can be in line with someone at the grocery store and they can say, hey, man, nice Janowski's. Right? <laughs> like, yeah, me too. You know, and then we just check they out. They have no idea. No, <laughs> that's, that's, clue. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the best. That's the best. <laughs> no clue. Here's a here's a, a, a wacky question, because, you know, we're all skaters and we save some of our products, our boards and shoes. But I mean, you've had. I mean, you can't even count it probably how many variations of this shoe you've had. Like, do you There's collect every one that comes out? It's almost no. impossible, right? No, no. I did. See, I didn't know how long this thing was going to go. So when right. it first started, I did. I saved, um, like, all the colorways that were coming out. And we lived in Brooklyn at the time. And actually, we still have a storage unit somewhere in Brooklyn that just has oh. tons of old colorways. But we had to stop because it was like too many there's so now it's just only my favorites Your i'm favorites. like hey can i get some of those like i have to be like hey don't send me all of them just i'll take the black ones the green ones you know <laughs> it's amazing it's insane. Or else they, like we can't live in shoes you know this, right. this came in handy today but um, <laughs> yeah. and if you wear a size nine and you come over to my house i mean you leave with gifts um, <laughs> seriously you know, right? go, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. don't tell that to to kelly super fan over here i'm, I'm sample size as well uh, what so size I get, is kelly i'm sample size dog get him yep. your size nine oh my god i love that i love <laughs> being size nine the best it's universal it's universal the sample size oh yeah like i was saying before like who would have even thought about what you've wanted to create in a skate shoe you know who would have even like thought where it would have gone? It's like it's like winning the lottery almost. I you mean, know? they didn't even want to do I it. I mean, yeah, I was pretty. I I knew it was good, right? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, skateboarding as well as I we mean, do. It's like I really liked it, so I was like, oh wow, this is exactly perfect. Like, oh my gosh, like it, it really was for me. Like, I guess the shoe I wanted to wear every day, mm -hmm. and I I I haven't. I mean, I've worn some Costins and some Nijas and some Pauls, um, you know, and chains, but basically I've worn this shoe for 10 years. Yeah. Like even to a wedding, even to a funeral, <laughs> like even to a, you know, a party, it's like, it, it works for that. So for me, it, it was the perfect shoe and it just turned out cool that everyone else really liked it too. <laughs> no, for sure. For sure. Cause Bro, they, they did that video piece, right. About not you not wanting it or that, that you have not, to, you have to yeah, fight they, for it. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. They, they were, no, they nobody. They were confused at first. They were like, confused. Yeah, because a lot of the shoes were very right. like athletic, right? Or well, not? They were using like, so much like tech, tech stuff, yeah. In, right? Yeah, a lot of the guys who were like, um, you know, like the bosses at the time were very like, "What? What are you guys letting this weirdo do? You know, who is this guy, anyways? You know?" <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and yeah, so, they, but uh, yeah, like I said, I really liked it, so yeah. I was like, hey. This works for me, um, so we have to do it. But it kind of uh, just goes to show, man. Hey, stand up for what you believe in. Stand up for what you exactly. like. You know, exactly. it's like don't and just like, bow down. Yeah. Also, and yet, and also, I think you know, a lot of times people, especially when you're in a business and you know, I have to sell things. It's scary to do things that are new and or different, mm -hmm. right? So it's like, well, I don't know. Other people aren't doing that, so maybe we shouldn't do that. Right. Yeah. I mean, we should stuff this tongue full of padding because that's what everyone does. And it's yeah. like, well, guess what? All that does is make your pants look fat. Yeah. Tongues don't have anything to do with skateboarding. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like I have the best tongue in a, of all skateboarding shoes because there's nothing in it. It's just a piece of leather. Yeah, right. You know? Yeah. And fly it's leather. Like, that's yeah. what it is. It's a fly <laughs> who, 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 who gave it the official stamp to like push that through? Because, I mean, obviously they made a great decision. So I think it was probably a little bit of them frustrated with me just not giving in mm -hmm. and they were I like just that. do it I just do it. it you're fine just give it to him shut this crazy guy up you right know? <laughs> right and also like james arizumi the guy who the designer like he 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 liked it he believed in it mm -hmm. and um so it was kind of like us against the and you know they just didn't it, to them it didn't look like a nike you know right yeah. How, how did the success of this shoe make you feel after all the, dealing with all that? Oh, yeah. I mean, it feels good to I mean, be right. Was it, almost, <laughs> was it almost like a, I told you yes. so? Was it almost like I told oh, you so? 
Uh, yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> one thousand percent like, on that one. That's kind Shit. of like my role. That's my role there now. I make videos about it. You know. <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> one thing I want to ask because I still have quite a few pairs of OG Janoskis that came with the leather laces. Mm-hmm. Do you think oh, yeah. with fly leather, there's something that you guys could do to sort of bring that back? I love the leather laces, mm-hmm. and I think that since the leather laces, like, there's there's got to be a cool lace. That's not leather. It's got to be better laces. Right. Like, yeah. The lace mm-hmm. thing drives me crazy. Yeah. Um, the leather laces to me were like such a really cool detail. It was genius. It was. It, was, yeah. it would yeah. just really like made the shoe into like this fan, like felt fancier. It exactly. Looked cool. Like, right. and also it was really functional for skateboarding because leather laces take longer to rip. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. So it did yeah. have a function to it. Yeah. The problem is. Once you start selling lots of shoes, those leather laces cost too much money to right, have in all right. the shoes. Yeah, totally. Right. Um, and then it just seems like all other laces are just so blah, 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 boring, you know, and just not cool. And hopefully soon they will be better laces. Because <laughs> this is something I talk about too. I, I, I talk about, I mean, that's why I love the... Um, the alternative closure, which Nike calls, because Velcro is a brand. Like, there's a guy who invented right. Velcro. Oh, gotcha. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, so they call it the AC, the alternative closure, which yep. I, I, it too. never really is, <laughs> never catches on as far as like everyone. But I honestly think that that is like. To me, I always go like this. What? You, you still wrapping ropes around little holes, <laughs> right. and teaching <laughs> over the loop and round the hole, teaching your kids little, you know, like loop it, you loop it and you it's pull. a futuristic <laughs> in, invention. You know, it's amazing. Bro, and the AC's uh, went so hard too because you could let the straps fly and you could just kind of oh, yeah. rock them loose. Like, you can yeah. walk them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I lo- so those are actually my favorite, one of my favorites, especially for skating. It's kind of like a slip on that you can tighten. Yep. Yep. Yes. And um, your shoes don't come untied. They just haven't really caught on. People think they're like old people or little kid shoes, but mm-hmm. I think that, um, I don't know, get one famous you know, pop star in them and everyone will go, oh, totally. Velcro's great. Uh, right, yeah. Yeah. right. K- K- <laughs> KB, just KB, sh- the... Uh, oh, yeah, his shoe's mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So good. I love that cloudy swoosh. That's yeah. Sick. That cloudy swoosh, yeah. <laughs> it's funny you so say amazing. that, Steezus, because I even completely forgot about the uh, mm-hmm. leather laces. Leather laces. Yeah, those, uh, those like, good. completely forgot about them. The only thing that was oh, hard about those is that they... Would undo. It taught, nope, it taught you no. how to tie your shoes the right way. That's how I learned that there was a right and a wrong way to tie shoes. <laughs> oh, interesting. Because if you ch- if true. you tied leather Janoskis the wrong way, they would always come undone. But if Untied. you did it the, right the backward, like you go over the, the backside instead of going the front way, uh-huh. you could tie hey. them tight. And then the the right. the, le- the laces go side to side instead of up and down, so it'll never come loose. Mm-hmm. They lock, they yeah. lock in. It's a lock, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, lock yeah. in. It's true. Yeah. Yep. Also, you know what I did? Because I like my shoes a little loose, so I would always just lace like tie them and slip them on i would just take a little super glue and drop it right on the bow oh. right where the is. wow now we're come on tie. wow so genius. i always funny. use a, a sailor's knot on my shoes oh wow okay um, you know how to tie a sailor's I knot i have no idea <laughs> <laughs> i don't even know what a sailor's knot is okay just sound good. 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 good i should have played it off a little longer but uh, yeah that was good that was good no but uh man dude this is I, I'm so stoked that you guys are doing this, you know, Seriously. and it sounds yeah, like you're more, you're just over the moon. You I mean, you can't be more happy. The, uh, like California is on fire. Yeah. It was a 111 degrees the other day. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the climate might be changing. Just yeah. a little bit. Maybe. Yeah. Just yeah. a little bit. No, <laughs> I, I, I think that climate change is real. Yeah. Um, and I think that like just keeping like digging up, stuff from the earth to like run antiquated machines because like we don't need to do that like there's so much energy available oh. everywhere we know about that now it's just like not even like maybe we could no it's just like actually all we need is the sun right I mean, if right. we threw a solar panel up in space for the whole world we'd all have power all the fucking time but, totally. you know, whatever. That's, but that's why we need the bigger companies and the, and the forward thinkers and the visionaries to yeah, kind of absolutely. come in and change all this stuff, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Recycle leather fat fibers, man. Water-based pro It's all water-based too. Yeah. They, they mold it by better. water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They fuse it together. You water. would think it would be like I, glue like, and like yeah. all kinds of to hold fiber. No. Yeah. It's like just the strongest 
water guns ever. Like they'll, <laughs> they'll rip your hands soakers? apart. They're so strong. Wait, 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 did, did, did you go see the process? <laughs> did you go to there and see the whole process? Yeah, of it? yeah. Oh, in London. Did. Yeah, we went to London. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, we were there. Yeah. Alyssa, Chiron, and I. Um, so, do you yeah, think that you'll be the doing the inside out? in the regular way to kind of give that suede feel as well as the leather to like alternate between the two yeah yeah they're gonna i think they're gonna do some the other way too amazing um yeah and then yeah definitely actually i already know i've seen some samples <laughs> yeah. uh, got go. so many samples he forgets which ones <laughs> yeah yeah sure. no they're doing that yeah so that's cool so that's why this one's this one i think this shoe has a cool look like the, yeah. the nice like fuzzy gray mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then also know. like that gum sole uh, with the little with the little, little ground specs. up pieces. Yeah, yeah. Looks, looks I do like the nice. specs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And if you notice, the swoosh mm -hmm. is um, is very minimally uh, embroidered. Yeah, which mm -hmm. uses less material. Ah. Yeah. And if you also noticed, <laughs> I don't know if you did, but if you were holding another uh, of my shoes, you would notice that the fly leather is significantly lighter. Yes. I was going to well, let's mention take that. a look and see. Oh, here. this guy I gonna, literally. I mean, the size comparison is a little off, but uh, <laughs> what do you have? We have scales in your wrists? <laughs> Boom, what's going on over there? He's like, let me tell you. Oh, three, two. This is definitely not a size nine. You do not wear a size nine. <laughs> no. He brought his own out. That's scared the me. White oh. leather, so the white leather is my like all-time favorite because you can literally just take oh, a baby wipe to too. it and just take it like just clean it up but they stop making them they only do the mm -hmm. canvas ones so if you guys mm -hmm. do the all white fly leather please let me know because you I know can... what uh my wife and i um every time we go in there we always tell them there should always be an all white shoe always yes. uh, always all, and yes. all black all yeah. black all white staples always there's occasions yep. that yeah. are just needed. Those shoes are always needed. Yeah, absolutely. Whether it's like private school kids, yeah. weddings, funerals, going out, totally. summertime at the beach. It's like white and all black are just sometimes yeah, you need that. You need it's yeah, just like an sure. Air Force One. Like you can just go if you bust them up, you, you get, you know, beaters. You go get a new pair. Yeah. There should yeah. always exactly. be readily accessible. I agree yeah. with that. Just yeah. the staple pairs in the line. Mm -hmm. I agree. Too. Yeah. Yeah. I love it, bro. I can't wait to see because this is the first ones, right? And I can't wait to see what kind of other color options you guys do, you know, because obviously there's a dying process, right? I mean, is, is sustainable yeah. dyes? Do you it's know anything great. about that yet? Or well, what's going Ooh, on there? That's a good there? question. Very good question. Um, yeah, they have to use sustainable. I mean, they can't yeah. use poison dyes on the recycle chair, you know? Right. 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 <laughs> I mean, there's got to be sustainable um, dyes out there. Right? I, like, be, I, I know yeah, nothing about sure. it, but yeah. I would assume. It has to be. You know, to tell you the truth, I don't know the answer to that question. Right. But I like that question. It's a good question. Dude, I used to skate Seriously. this shoe a bunch. It was one of the best skate shoes. I used to skate, skate it all the time, oh, yeah. too. Breaks in immediately. No break in time. You've been killing those Venice curbs, Chris. Whoa, thank you, bro, for asking. Him. He likes that. Uh, he likes that. He just this definitely you. wasn't a question. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a question? Oh, my bad. Uh, no, thank you, bro. Thank you. Hey, just having fun. Just having fun out there, you know? Yeah, well, I like it. Thank, thank you, bro. Cool. Uh, I like the front crook to back five oak to back to over. Back up oh and pop God. over. Oh, that was good. Dude, I thought so too. I thought I so too. Know. I mean, surprised you know who, Do you want to know who showed me that? Who? Shane O'Neill. Shane O'Neill. so dope. And we were talking about how good it was. Wow. Shane O'Neill and I. Wow. We were talking about you. Man, thank you, Stefan. We were at, we at Beeble's World um, the other day and we were talking about you. Wow, doing really good so tricks good. out the Venice curves. I love that, man. <laughs> man you're really you, buttery up good. right now. Man, yeah. This is going to be a great episode. <laughs> this is going to be a great episode. Wow. Uh, <laughs> no, I trip out because, I mean, like, Mark Suchu was commenting on it. And I was like, dude, this is crazy. Like, oh. come on. I've never had, like, Mark Suchu. Come on, bro. Anyway, this isn't about me, bro. This is about you and the fly hey, leather hey. and the and the Janowski. Come on, man. The Janowski. You're here. I just figured I'd tell you why I'm talking to you. I love it. <laughs> no, thank you, bro. Thank you. I pre no, I appreciate that. Because like I said, we're just having fun down there, you know? Yeah, and uh, trying to learn the slappies has been a whole different mindset for me, you know? So just kind of adding on to tricks that I have, it, it, dude, it's so fun. Oh, it's so, yeah, it's fun, so fun to not ollie in the stuff. Oh my God, I'm addicted. I'm addicted. <laughs> I'll never ollie again, Stefan. Uh, okay. What? You said that more than once. Actually, I do ollie over the little block. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got to go back to the starting point. But, I uh, <laughs> dude, 
This is amazing, bro. I mean, I can tell you're super, super, super hyped on it and it makes me even even more hyped on it. Good. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I think it's a good, uh, you know, I think that, you know, every little bit helps, you know, it's silly, you know, you know, people stop giving people straws, but that's good. You know, it's like, right. People bring their own, you know, bring your own bags to the grocery store. It's a small thing, but it's like, it it helps, you know, it's totally the steps, the steps. It totally helps. And pretty soon this shoe, I I can already call it, man. It'll be a hundred percent leather fibers. Yeah. As a technology, it just yeah. keeps getting better and better. It's, totally. it's in the right yeah. direction right now. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, the yeah. fact, like you said, the fact that you come out the gate with 50%, you know, that's a, that's huge. a huge mark. Like, yeah, that's amazing. What are your royalties on these, bro? Oh, no, I'm, just, I'm, <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding, bro. I'm kidding. Hey, man, the fact that, uh, honestly, though, the fact that you've had your name on this shoe for over, a, you know, a decade yeah. and it's still... It's it hasn't slowed down like that's hats off to you, man. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Well, especially in skateboarding, that's a uh, a feat. And, 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 you know, in skateboarding to have a shoe, maybe not the same one for ten years. That's it's incre- cra- that's it's crazy. But just in the world of footwear, to have one shoe for ten years, eleven years, right. yeah. like. But bro. you just brought up something pretty amazing. Who has had a shoe for ten years? Not one. There we go. Exactly. Well, yeah. I mean, like in skateboarding, you mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Steve Caballero. No, Steve but Caballero. Steve Caballero. Oh, fuck. That, that, <laughs> that just that got got the me. fuck out of me. I thought I had one there, but no, that's, that's yeah. the OG OG. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. He's had one for a long time, I think. Yeah. Touche. This Touché. is still doing good, too. Yeah. Um, no, but you're killing it, man. This is, it's incredible. Yeah, no, you bro. know what? Longevity in skateboarding is yeah. kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, totally. Just, just yeah. longevity, yeah. just yeah. the person being around a long time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. seriously. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. That's why I started a talk show. <laughs> yeah. um, hey, by the way, we have um, it's taking up our whole goddamn living room, but we have yeah. your uh, crucifix float hey. back there. <laughs> and um, I, 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 I'm so fascinated. Like, let's just talk about the crucifix float right now. We let's talked about the, the Nike fly leather, it's, yeah. it's great. But mm-hmm. the crucifix float, what? what where did that even pop into your head? Where do you, and you're selling them too, which is incredible. <laughs> it's working. Yes. It's amazing. Hey, yes. I love you know, it. Why would this that summer's work? hot as hell. Literally. So, you know, <laughs> this box. Yeah, look, there's the there's box. The box. Oh, the box is super legit. Amazing. Jesus. Uh, Float yeah, your sins that's... away. But you know what, though? Float your sins away. That's our slogan. Dude, that's <laughs> so perfect. But bro. isn't amazing. that how people very, lie on, like, to get a suntan? That's very how people functional. mind. Yeah. It's very, very functional. <laughs> you turn on your back. Um, it's, you know what it is? It's a piece of functional art. So uh, yeah. where, where it all started from was a sculpture I made of, uh, of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just had this idea where I wanted, you know, all you see is, these, is, is depictions of Jesus and he's dying on the cross. You right. Know? He looks very uncomfortable and in pain. And I thought, wow, what if Jesus was on a pool float just, just chilling <laughs> in palm springs <laughs> with sunglasses on and right. a cigarette in his mouth and he had heart print box, heart print um swim trunks because you know he's all about love right and so i was just thinking oh, like wow that would be like so cool so i made the sculpture and the background and I, I framed it so the sculpture actually hangs on on blue velvet and then it's framed so it's kind of like he's floating Amazing. And then my right. wife Jessica was like, "Oh, you know what? I, I, I think I want a cruise to float. Like that looks really comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> like, gosh, wow. like yeah, we should make it. And so, uh, yeah, we made it. We actually just made uh, I think ten at first. Okay. But then everyone who saw it was like, "Oh my god, this is amazing!" And like we were giving it away, and everyone was just loving it. So yeah. We were like, all right. And so we, we yeah, we started a website <laughs> yes, and uh, we got three colors, uh, white, blue, and uh, pink. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, awesome. I had Jason film a video with a drone camera you know, yep. and uh, we did the whole thing. It's a company. So uh, wow. it's like, oh, what's, what's the website? Cruciflow.com. Okay. <laughs> Simple as that. Yes. yes. And let me Cruciflow. tell you something. I, I'm not, I don't know anything about, I mean, we have our website with our products and everything, but mm-hmm. you know, you should look into the Amazon thing because I feel like you could just. Someone else told me that. Because I, when I, when these arrived at our, uh, at our place, I went on Amazon right away to look at pool see floats to see if it was mm-hmm. there too. Yeah. yeah. 
there wasn't that many, and I feel like you could hey, make a billion oh, dollars. Like, yeah, it's like a. It was a kitty cat. The open Pandora oh, box with that one. Oh, the eyes. What's his name? <laughs> wow. This is Juan. Juan. Look at those. Yeah, look at Juan that looks cat. mellow. Hey, bud. He's <laughs> pretty mellow. Dude, I love Juan. He's amazing. <laughs> no, I love. It. I love cat. I got a cat named Larry. Man, I love cats. Bro. Awesome. No, but the cruise afloat, man. You got to. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you want to go the whole Amazon route, but you know, I'm just an idea. They didn't have that many. We had a lot of fun uh, making that. Like, and it's kind of like when people buy it, we every time we go, oh my God, who the hell bought this? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we have to like, you know, so it's really fun. It's like great. It's, um, you know, we, we had lots of fun with it. Like on the website, you know, it's got a disclaimer. Jesus saves the crucible does not okay. float at your own risk. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. And if you're if you're wondering about our return policy, mm -hmm. Jesus may return, but you may not. Wow. wow. They stuck us <laughs> out, dude. Man. That's this amazing. Is amazing. <laughs> hey, go to Nike.com. Get yourself some Janowski uh, Nike fly leathers and go to fucking crucifloat.com. Get yourself a float. I, I got another Might as dot well. com, actually. Might if you well. want to know more about me and some art I do and other stuff, then you can go to a fucking website. Amazing. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's the website? It's called. That's what it's called. Yeah, a fucking website. That's yes. Website. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You got Are that you domain. That is That's so sick. Levels right there. <laughs> Straight levels. Well, everyone kept telling me I needed a fucking website, so I got one. So you <laughs> got a fucking website <laughs> dot com. Wow. Amazing. Yes. That's, good. That's wow. good shit right there, Stefan. I'm yes. very impressed. I am very hey, impressed. That's why you make the big bucks. We yeah. 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 Totally. You got to come hang out with us for. We need ideas over here. We need ideas. Hey, I'm an idea guy. That's me. That's what I do. Okay, so he's got a fucking website dot com. Um, Nike.com, Fly Leathers, and Crucifix.com. Crucifloat. <laughs> Crucifloat. Crucifloat.com. It is a crucifix. Anything though. else we're missing? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking website's got some links to other stuff. Like there's. Oh, you're dropping out on us a little bit. Uh, on, on the fucking website, there's a film link where I have um, some short films I've made. Uh, there's a music video uh, that I made, um, stop motion. Uh, uh, multiple uh, international award-winning music video. Um, okay. And there's also this new <laughs> short film I made called The Bat and the Mat. And um, it's based off of uh, something that happened to Matt Beach. And he actually was bombing a hit, bombing through the hills in Portland through the woods, and he got bit by a bat. What? Ooh. And so Jessica called him. I, when I would say, hey, Matt is coming over, she would say, oh, who, Bat Matt? Bat. Go, yeah, <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I actually uh, wrote and illustrated this like r short rhyming book, and so I've had for a while. And then I had uh, my friend Anton Thalner, who's a really good video um, video graphics video mm. filmmaker. Effects. Yeah, oh. effects. Yeah, he's okay. just really good, and he animated the. So I narrated it. And I made the music, and he animated my drawings, and it's uh, wow. It's it's pretty funny. It's like a Dr. Seuss style, like rhyming story about um, a man named Matt who got bit by the bat. By, got bit by a bat. By a bat. <laughs> Matt yeah. bat. I love so it. So you can man. check that out on a fucking website. A also, fucking website. <laughs> like go on YouTube and watch his switch flips too, man. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> <laughs> Got one of the best switch flips out Amazing. there, dude. Yeah. 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 Kelly, what's your favorite Stefan part, bro? Dude, I really like this part. Or well, Habitat, mm. uh, Mosaic. Mosaic. Probably, mm. That's probably my favorite, to be honest. I like your exhibition <coughs> oh, part, too, thanks. when you skate to the Nirvana song. Oh, that's right. Like a fire. Oh, yeah. I like, yeah. I like, I like yeah. that, too. But all of your, all those parts, but man. New part? I, I mean, I think someday. Okay. <laughs> I'm not filming one right now. No, no, no. Uh, there's not okay. one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm filming content. Yes. You know? yes. <laughs> but I'm not working on any, there's no full length videos being made by any companies and I'm not working on a solo. Okay. Solo video. endeavor. I mean, I haven't, this is the longest I haven't went on a trip in over 20 years. So, uh, I would love to, as soon as people can fly me to amazing places. To skate. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You'll be back out and there in no time, dude. You'll be yeah, back. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, uh, Filming stuff when you're in LA and you 
you go to the valley or something, you're just like, uh, <laughs> you just sit around and think about Barcelona. Oh, <laughs> yeah, totally. Well, plus it gives you opportunities to do more art and do more little short oh, yeah, films uh, and stuff like that. Totally. Like you're, you're yeah, not just yeah. sitting on your ass, you know? No, no. Yeah. No. I mean, that's, yeah. I mean, that, that's one thing I was like, I, I've got like a lot of equal to skateboarding loves of activities that I do. So mm-hmm. it's like when I'm not doing one of them, I'm doing the other one. So I'm either like playing music or drawing or painting or sculpting or um, reading or you yeah, know, that's skateboarding. Amazing. And yeah, the that's, creative yeah, juices so, are flowing either way. Yeah, there's there's not enough time in the day sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me tell you that. something, Stefan. Um, when all this is said and done and, and you're flying around the world and you have some downtime, you got to come over here and, and hang out with us, man, yeah, yeah, and, and do a do a do a nine club and and kick it. It'd be so interesting, man. And you're such a great dude. Yeah, it'd be so fun. I will. I, I yeah. want to. I like I like your guys' show. Thank you, great. bro. Thank yeah. you. And again, dude, congratulations with the fifty uh, percent recycled leather fly leather Nike yeah. Stefan Janowski shoe, oh, yeah. available now. Right? I, I available now. Available Ooh, now. Yeah. Go to Nike.com or your uh, favorite skate shop probably has them too, right? Yeah. CCS. There you go. Uh, you can order them online uh, if you don't want to go into the shop still. Cause, yeah. You know, yeah. I don't know. Yes. Yeah, you can't go in. You know, you can't go inside, but now you can't go outside because the the state's on fire. You know? No, <laughs> man. We're really going through it over here. Jeez. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's been orange like for a week now. Just, just yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. But uh, yeah, actually, uh, you know, my dad's house burned down. Oh no! Really? Yeah, um, I'm from Vacaville, and Vacaville got hit pretty hard. And uh, my parents actually built the house that I was born in over forty-one something. Forty something. And um, yeah, so um, that's sad. I'm sorry. Burned down. Sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Sorry to hear that. Animals are fine. Horses are fine. Yeah. But I mean, it's like. This year is serious, man. Fuck, it's like man. stuff yeah. is happening. Um, yeah. But also, you know, it's crazy, but I'm also optimistic for the future. Yes. Even yeah. though it's so bad and crazy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, I never went through that, but I mean, growing up in Malibu, we had all the fires come through oh, over yeah. the years. You know, we've had to evacuate, but I've had plenty of uh, best friend, childhood friends, houses burnt down and yeah, all that I mean, stuff. It's, it's almost it's, it's every horrible. year they have to evacuate, you know? Yeah. So it's just kind of like, this year, God, I mean, my dad's got a really good attitude. He's just like, listen, nature is the boss. And, this you know, true, like, yeah. we're safe, you know, like, yeah. they have horses and stuff. Everyone, everyone's fine. Like, great. They got away, you know, like, they've got like 110 pound, like, German Shepherd. They're like staying in a hotel. They're having fun. Wow. <laughs> um, you know, but at least yeah. everybody's okay. Yeah, that's amazing. That's, that's, that's yeah, amazing. That makes everything, that makes it so it's just like, a story that's bad, but it's also like a story that's not that bad. Yes. Yeah. 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 Right, right. Well, dude, hey, thank you so much for stopping by, Stefan. This okay. is incredible, dude. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Man, and, and again, congratulations on the uh, 50%. Uh, I love this crew we have here, too. Dude, <laughs> you I'm telling yeah. you, man. You got to come over. Awesome. You got to come yeah. over. I will, I will. I will. Yeah. I didn't. Now I feel like I'm the only one zooming. No, 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 no. We have our other show, the Stop and Chat. We zoom in other guests and stuff. Oh, okay. So it's not the first time, but uh. Oh no, I saw you zoom with Brian. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm talking about there's you guys are all there. I'm here. I'm here. No, it's fine. It's fine, <laughs> man. But it, but you but again, you should come in uh, when all this is said and done, and and hang out with us, and we can go over your uh, I'd like to your career and videos, and Kelly can fan out some more, make you a little. <laughs> I'll, I won't be as crazy next time. I. Swear. I, I want to come skate with your. I want to come skate at the Venice curves with you guys. Come on down, dude. Love to have That'd you there. Right. You could. You're pretty good at slappies, aren't you? Or you do them a I lot. Love slappies. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely. You can tell he's good. How, yeah. Yeah. I started skating in the '90s. We that, that was red curb. Yeah, <laughs> right. I, I tell you what, I'm addicted. I am addicted. It's a whole new it's thing. Fun. It's, oh, it's so it's fun. fun. We have a curb in uh, in Evil's world now, but um, hmm. it's like so chunked up. It looks yeah. like like 25, 13 year old 
kids who never skated before skated there for a month. Their first. <laughs> <laughs> Just done. Yeah. Hey, whenever you want, come on down, you know, give us a call and we'll go meet you down there, have a skate. And, um, dude, again, congratulations, man. I, I'm, thanks, I'm, I'm thanks, so stoked, guys. dude. Oh, so stoked for you, man. Yeah, congrats. Yeah, tell Nike to get on those white on whites again. Ooh. I know. Hey, <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, yeah, see, I got it. <laughs> yeah, it's not just me. It's not just me. No, no, no man. Got to have the staples. Yeah, got to have the staples. For sure. Yeah, for sure. yeah. Got to, dude. And while you're at it, go, to, go get a Crucifloat. Crucifloat.com. Yeah. It's man. fun. They're, uh, you know, there's not very many. It's not like they're not mass produced. So there, there's not an endless supply either. Right. Um, it is a functional piece of art. That's true. Uh, That's true. You know, right. so. Uh, it's not like a, it's not just, it's not like a pool float that was made, you know, it's just more like a, it's fun. It works though. It's very functional. <laughs> I've, had giant, I've had giant, huge people floating on these things. You can take them in the ocean. Uh, wow. I took some to Hawaii when I visited Arto before this whole uh, Sick. pandemic and uh, yeah, we were surfing on them. Yes. <laughs> and you could fit uh, a drink anywhere you want. Yeah. It looks like exactly oh, right. Yeah. Anywhere it's you like, want. I, yeah. Uh, I have not tried that yet, but I have been told that you can fit tall cans of beer in all those holes and float yes. down a river. Yes. <laughs> all of them. Yes. That's all of them. Yeah. tall cans of oh water. My God. All the homies back home in KC would love that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's tight. Amazing. You're doing amazing stuff, buddy. Stefan, man. We, we love you over here. Yeah. Big fans. Yeah. Yes. Big, big, fans. big fans. Big fans, man. Always have been. And, uh, dude, again, thank you so much, dude. Thank you guys. Hell yeah, Stefan. Man, great night. Stefan Janowski, bro. Yeah, Good sure. to see you too. Good dude. to see you, bro. Janowski. Yeah. Janowski. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks, Chris Roberts. Awesome, Roberts. <laughs> Thanks, Chris Roberts. Hey, if Stefan's throwing a W in my name, that's fine. Yeah, Chris Roberts. Man, that was amazing. He bro. is the Stephon man. Stefan Janowski. 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 It's like a, almost like a game. It's almost like a Jana, like a Janowski. Just when you think you're saying Jana. it right. Or yeah. Janowski. Janowski. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a crazy one. But it's right? funny though, because like it, his name is obviously spelled that way, but everybody throws it in the W. Right. Janowski. Yeah. If it was a little bit more harder to say, you know, it might change the game. Like it might, I don't know if he, you know. <laughs> What? Sometimes people's oh, names. What? Sometimes people's names. When you first hear it, you're like, I don't who. What? I can't even say it. <laughs> yeah, but it's yeah. like it's 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 good enough to say. Like it's easy enough I to read it. Does that make sense? A, yeah. I'm yeah. I'm just trying to make his names. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that sequence was amazing. <laughs> He's trying to make it make sense. <laughs> it's hard to make that name make sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>